Hey guys, what's up? Just a quick video. I was kind of curious about your opinions. The police shooting in Baton Rouge, Louisiana left three policemen dead with a suspect, Gavin Long, also dead. Now, this is the second time in less than 10 days that there has been a mass police shooting. In my lifetime, I can't remember another time that a single person was able to take out more than two police like this at one time. Now it's happened twice in less than 10 days. Now, when you keep in mind that in my life I remember like the riots uh, in the early 90s over the Rodney King beating, there's been other riots across the country going back to the 60s. I don't remember anything like this ever happening. I'm kind of curious how it is it's happened two times now in such a short period of time. In both cases, with a single gunman that did not live through the experience. Now, I'm not saying that I don't believe that these things didn't happen. I absolutely believe that those police officers were killed in cold blood. What I question is how it is possible that in both cases a single person did this. And coincidentally, that single person didn't live through either experience to be questioned or put on trial, have their past dug into, it's very suspicious to me. Much like Lee Harvey Oswald, lone gun theory, lone gunman, kill that person, that pretty much kills the investigation. I have seen no video of Gavin Long. I've seen no cell phone video, no news footage. Like I said, I absolutely believe they happened. I'm not one of those people like the Sandy Hook people who said it didn't happen, there's no bodies. I believe that those officers were murdered in cold blood and someone should be held accountable for it. Absolutely. My question is, are the people that they're blaming absolutely the only people involved? It just seems a little sketchy to me. Before YouTube takes it down, I'm going to put a link up to Gavin Long's uh, YouTube page. I didn't even know that it existed. He made some comments on July 10th from a motel room in Dallas. I believe you should watch. Before the media gets a hold of it, edits it into the shape that they want you to see, and then they give it back to you. Because you know... Believe it or not, I don't care what media outlet it is, they all have an agenda. Good or bad, whether you agree with it or not, when they get a hold of that video, you won't see all eight minutes. You'll see what they choose to show you in the order they choose to show you. So go watch it now while you have a chance. After you watch that video, come back and let me know, do you think that this was the work of one man again? Or do you think it's domestic terrorism, a group of people here in the U.S. organizing these attacks? Do you think it's foreign terrorism? Again, I don't feel strongly about that one. Do you think it's the government somehow trying to distract from different things going on in the world? Because just before both of these shootings happened, the police in two instances had some very sketchy dealings where they shot citizens. Say what you want about the criminal records of the people that were shot. There's video footage of uh, Alton Sterling. Sketchy. There was a lot of uproar. Now suddenly we have these police killings, and it seems to be the only thing that's being focused on. So my question would be why? What else is going on in the world that somebody wouldn't want us to focus on? Those are my questions. I have no answers. I'm going to put that link in the description below. When you go to this page, it's going to be Cosmo, and I cannot say it correctly, Setapinra. Like I said, I couldn't say it correctly. It'll say, when you go to that page, it'll be a page with a banner, and it'll say no content. Hit videos, all his videos will appear, watch his newest one, and then tell me if you guys think that he acted alone. I have serious questions. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Let me hear from you in the comments below what you guys think's going on because I don't have a clue. Until next time, stay vigilant, be safe.